What is a self-driving car? Ah, a self-driving car is a vehicle that has the capability of sensing the world around it and then taking that information that it's sensing and then uh, translating it into telling the car how to drive. So basically using software uh, algorithms telling the car exactly how to perform based on what it's seeing uh, in the world around it. So tell me, where did the idea for a self-driving car come from? Well, the idea of a self-driving car has been around for many, many years. And uh, as uh, early as 1956, there was a, a, a picture on the front cover of a Boy's Life magazine uh, showing a family uh, in a vehicle that was driving itself and then playing dominoes. So it's a concept that's been around a long time. And then not just recently though, in the last uh, decade, there's been a real a renewed interest and emphasis and really quite a bit of additional technology development that's taking place. Google got interested and began a small program to evaluate whether or not it was technically feasible and after about a year's worth of really difficult testing, found out that they, they thought it was possible and developed a team to continue to do that. Now have been driving more than 500,000 miles autonomously in the last five years. So how does a self-driving car work? It works by having uh, sensors on it. So the vehicle has primarily a scanning laser and radar and cameras so it can see and define the world around it and then classify what it sees. It sees other cars, it sees pedestrians, bicyclists, it actually sees red lights and green lights and what's happening in the intersection. It takes that perception data and actually classifies all the objects and tells the vehicle through software and the algorithms how it should behave based on what it's seeing in the world around it. And that's kind of what it does. So how will this change consumers' lives? I think it has the potential to change consumers' lives dramatically, right? Both, most importantly, in the area of safety. Um, as you know, more than 33,000 people die on U.S. highways every year. More than 1.2 million people are dying around the world from auto crashes. And this technology, I believe, has the potential to revolutionize safety in a way that is probably the, the most important auto safety technology that could emerge. Google's working very hard, as are other automakers, to, to work and develop this technology. Technically, what is the biggest hurdle a self-driving car will overcome? The, the hurdles are in the, de in the technical details. I think one of the biggest ones that I can think of is just making sure that all of the scenarios that a vehicle will encounter and, and the miles that it drives and the long uh, years that it will drive can, can respond safely and appropriately to that environment. So testing and continuing to refine the software to deal with everything that's going on in the world is one of the big technical challenges. Mm -hmm.